This past week, I woke up when I heard a loud bang coming from the house. Me and my boyfriend left out of bed to see what was going on. And when we went downstairs, we didn't see anything. So we went outside and we saw that there was a huge hole in the living room. So, um, someone had apparently ran and crashed into the house and backed back out and ran away. Or drove away, I guess. Um, luckily, their bumper got stuck on the fence, so we had the person's license plate. So we ran around the house and checked to make sure that everyone was okay. Luckily, everyone was. And we immediately called the police. The police got there in a few minutes. And when we, they obviously could see what was wrong. The person had run over the fence, through the lawn, and into the house. So, uh, with it, then, like within ten minutes after that, the policeman uh, let us know that they found the car uh, that it belonged to, that it was at a gas station around the corner. Um, so while the police were walking around and investigating the house and taking pictures, uh, the guy who had done it wandered back to the house. We didn't talk to him at first, but the police investigated him and checked him for sobriety because he had indeed ran into a house at 9 in the morning. Um, and it turns out he was sober and just didn't have a license. The policeman told him, asked him, are you going to go up to them and apologize and see if everyone's all right? And the guy just sat down on the ground and didn't say anything. So while the guy was just sitting on the curb right in front of us, the policeman came up to me and the others who lived in the house and, and told us that since the landlord the, wasn't there, that it was up to us to decide if we were going to have the guy cuffed and arrested or let it be charged as just an accident. Because apparently when uh, there's a hit and run, if the person comes back within a half hour, it's just counted as an accident but because of the severity of the damage, that it could be charged as an actual crime. Because of the dent in the house, the car hitting it, there was a huge flood in the whole downstairs because it had broken one of the pipes and a fire had gone off in the living room because of an electrical wire that was cut. So there was a lot of damage and it was clear that no one could live in the house for quite some time. So. We asked the policeman if we could talk to the guy that hit the house just to get a sense of why he did it. So when we talked to him, the guy just told us that he ran because he was scared and he didn't know what to do at the time. He didn't have his license. Though he never really explained to us why he actually hit the house. So we were talking for a while and we eventually decided that we were going to let the guy go. Um, he seemed sorry that he did it, kind of, and we just didn't feel like it was our decision to decide if this man should, right in front of us, should be sent to jail. It didn't seem like a power we should have. Uh, the policeman also recommended that we just let the guy go, but, um, the landlord still, if she wanted, has up to a week to decide if she's going to get him arrested, so that's what we decided to do.